A visiting Thurston County judge says he will decide by Friday whether a petition can go to voters asking for signatures for an election to recall Shelton's mayor and a city commissioner. Judge Christopher Lanise in Mason County Superior Court on Monday heard arguments from Seattle attorney Sarah Johnson representing Mayor Gary Kronz and City Commissioner Kathy McDowell. Former City Commissioner Mike Olson, who filed the recall petition with the Mason County Auditor's Office, stated his case. Lanise accepted late-filed documents from Olson, but Johnson objected, saying she, Kronz, and McDowell had not reviewed them to respond to the court. Lanise said he also wanted to examine Olson's late-filed court documents before the judge could render a decision. The judge explains that he will make his decision based on state law. It is insufficient under the law for there simply to be a violation of the law. Um, there needs to be a violation of the law with intent, and there is possibly also an additional hurdle that one needs to clear about it being substantial, which is something there will be some more briefing on, I trust. Um, and so and the reason for that is that there are lots of things that elected officials might or might not do that the citizens might or might not like. Um, and for the most part, what you get to do is your remedy is you wait till they're up for re-election and you vote for them, yes, no, or otherwise. Olson must prove that Kronz and McDowell were guilty of willful intent to violate the law through their actions. Kronz and McDowell's attorney argued that that had not been sufficiently proven. There has to be a knowing intent to violate the law. It's not enough simply to have done the act. It has to have been done with knowledge that there is an actual violation here. Olson's petition charges that Kronz violated state public disclosure law when he used his city email to solicit campaign dollars and a commissioner's meeting to speak out against the ballot proposal to expand the city commission to a seven-member city council. Olson also charges in his petition that Kronz and McDowell violated the State Open Meetings Act when they discussed city business through email and Facebook Messenger. I'm presenting this on behalf of the citizens of Shelton. Uh, we are here to determine the sufficiency of the charges. We hope the citizens get the opportunity to consider the truth. A number of allegations have surfaced concerning violations of both campaign finance and open public meeting laws. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News.